everything I ever wanted, Tammy and my baby too. If you say so. <sighs> You'll see, Johnny boy. You'll see. Are you okay? You have a nightmare? Huh? Nightmare? Yeah. Yeah, not real. <laughs> What are you doing up so early? We have childbirth class. You're still into it, right? Doesn't that sound like fun? Maybe it will be. Oh, Johnny, you're going soft-headed. Don't tell me you're becoming one of those warm and fuzzy new age idiots. Getting into all the breathing and the hand-holding. When really, you should be letting the mummy do what's natural, which is spitting the bloody thing out all by herself while you're down the pub with all the other new dads. Sway! I mean, come on, just pretend you're a man just once, please. Jonathan, you're still coming to class, right? Sure, yeah. I hope you're not freaked out about this. Just here to lend a little moral support, a little pat on the back. You need it. Don't thank me, it's my job. I should father. <laughs> like you forgave a damn about being my dad. Um, no. Come to think of it, I didn't give a damn most of the time, but every now and again, a man feels a twinge of conscience. Need to step up. What you need to do is get the hell out of my head and let me do what I have to do, okay? Fine. I'll be around. Flirting with a pretty nurse. If you change your mind, decide that you need your father. Are you coming? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I was thinking, um, would you rather do this with your mom? With my mom? Yeah, she's had babies. I mean, you know, she could. She could be there for you in a way that I could. Are you she could give to you advice. Back out of this? No, 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 no. I no. I, I know you love your mom, and I know you guys haven't been getting along that good lately. So I thought, you know, this class would be a good way to get back together. I hate classes. You're gonna be great. Besides, I need you. I can't do this without a partner. I am. I'm, yeah, I'm in. I'm in. All the way in. I am. I just hope I don't, you know. Don't what? Hi, everyone. I'm busy. Hi. Hi. Uh, the normal nurse <laughs> normal, who teaches this is had an emergency, so I'm going to fill in today. And as my granddaughter can tell you, I've had a lot of experience with babies. So I think before we get started, it might be um, rather fun to get to know each other, introduce ourselves, and talk about the pregnancy. I think we should start with the dads. How about you? Me? Oh, uh, I'm Mike. <laughs> uh, any other children? No, this is our first. And 
I'll admit it kind of scares me. <laughs> Why? I've never even held a baby before. Well, don't worry, they won't break. I promise. And we'll be teaching you about it. But I, I've seen a lot of nervous fathers, and the minute they get that baby in their arms, they just know what to do. It's sort of instinctual, you know? I mean, if you and your partner are united, if you're working together as a couple, then having a baby is the greatest thing that will ever happen in your life. Okay, now we're going to deal with some baby basics. Um, do I have any volunteers? Oh, just all jump up and get excited. All right, I'm going to have to pick somebody then. We'll do it. Really? Yeah, how hard could it be? Okay, all right, right now we're going to talk about holding the baby. So, Jonathan, you show me how you would hold your baby girl. All right, you want to hold the baby's head, 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 and the baby's bottom, the butt, Okay. Right. And you want to keep the baby close to you. Swaddle it, because that's the way like you bond this. with the baby. Oh, that's a little too close, but it's okay. All right, now um, pretend the little baby is asleep and the crib is right in front of you, and I want you to gently put the baby in the crib. Good. Yeah, that's right. Good. Perfect. Um, one thing you want to do is have the baby sleep on its back, because uh, tummy sleeping is a problem with SIDS. Jonathan, gently. That's my great granddaughter. You're flipping over like a pancake. This is good. Yeah. The hell is Sid? You're doing great. Really. Oh. Jonathan and Lizzie, you never ever turn away, even for a second when you're bathing a baby. Oh. I oh, know, that's cool. Look. She swims like a fish, like a mermaid. Go get him, girl. Do you remember how to do this? Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. What? You want to lift the baby with both feet, see? And you want to be sure to wipe from front to back to avoid bacterial contamination. Shouldn't a mom be doing that? Oh, come on. You're going to share the joys of parenthood. And the mom's not always there. Yeah. No, I'm saying we're having a girl. She's going to have Oh, one. my Lord. I'm sure you have seen my this. You're really doing great. After the baby's born, we can make all the rounds. The rounds? You travel. You introduce you to all the family you haven't met yet. No, when this baby's born, I'm moving back into Tammy, remember? Well, not right away. Yeah, this is a temporary thing. I mean, you have to bond with the baby first. You can't just walk away from her the second she's born. Well, I will. I'll be around, but I gotta get back to Tammy in my real life. Not right away. We need you. Tammy needs me too. Not like we do. This is your little girl, Jonathan. What a first smile, her first laugh. I mean, don't you want to be around for that? I will. I'm not abandoning the baby. Just me. Oh, don't you even make this sound like a breakup. You know this marriage is fake. It's been that way since day one. I know. I know all that, okay? It just, it, it feels like you just can't wait to get away from me. Stop, stop it, stop it. Grandmother's gonna kill me, don't cry. Okay? I just, you know what it's been like for me and Tammy not to be able to see each other? You seemed okay. I'm not okay. Tammy's not okay. The only way we're gonna be okay is when we get back together. Ow. Oh, here we go. Conversation goes somewhere you don't like and you start pouring on the No, field. I'm not faking it. 
<sighs> Something doesn't feel right. Oh, wifey, oh, you know, this is me you're pulling the trick on. I invented this gag. I feel like I'm gonna pass out. Oh. <sighs> Here it comes. Disconnected. No forwarding number is available. Five five five. Don't give up, Hanson. No, never. Knocked some sense into you, didn't I, Johnny? You don't belong in a classroom, mate. Not with all those normal people. No, you took care of that. I'll never belong with normal people again. Normal. So. Overrated, don't you find? As is being a heroic daddy. Little Lizzie, she's got plenty of people that are more than qualified to look after her during her special time. You? You've got someone who's ready, willing, and more than able to look after you. Tammy. Tender, tasty Tammy. If I wasn't so indisposed, dead, I'd have a go at her myself. What is going on here? You, your idea? You have to slow down and tell me what you're talking about. Disconnecting Tammy's cell phone number so I can't get in touch. Didn't she with ask you to stay away? This is not gonna work. None of this is gonna work, okay? Tammy can live with you. She can eat with you. She can carpool with you. End of the day, still mine. Always will Still be. mine. <laughs> Is that what you say before you club her and drag her off to your cave? Enjoy it now. Enjoy it. Because the baby's going to be born pretty soon. And everything's going to go back to normal. <laughs> you really believe that? You really believe Tammy's going to run back to you and your wife and your baby won't get in the way? Mind your business. I told you. I told you I had a feeling Tammy would be available soon. That I'd wait things out. Well, looks like I was right because she's living with me, not you. Okay. You are pushing. You are pushing. If you look at her, if you talk to her in the wrong way, I will come after you. Yeah? You won't have time. Too busy changing diapers. You have a good day today. Oh my, I didn't think she had it in her. I always thought Tammy would stay true to her outlaw, but uh, looks like she found herself a lawman. Officer Boudreaux's quite right, Johnny. Living in a dream world. Now you uh, are the dream. What Tammy and I have is real deal. Mm. This is real. Hold me. You're sick. Thank me. <laughs> Feed me. Mm -hmm. School me. Discipline me. It's a fun part. You bad baby. Really, my life. Nice. <laughs> nice. It's not gonna be like that. You're psychotic. If you learn anything at all. Get away from me! Johnny, your life is never gonna be the same. Tammy. She's living with Officer Boudreaux. How long before she's shagging him? She's hmm? not gonna shag him. Oh, Johnny, Johnny, come on. Come on. You can feel it. I know you can. My whole life is just slipping away. No. When it's gone, 
What will you have there? Who will you be then? I know where I have to be. So I hear this click, 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 bang! Remy, cleaning his service revolver, almost shoots his foot off. Wow. Did something else. So, when we finally all get moved in, we need to have a little talk about house rules. Rules? Yeah, I need some rules to protect Marina's delicate eyes. I know I may have grown up in a house full of men, but I'm not ready to walk in on you and Remy conserving water. Showering together? Oh! No, not gonna happen. Oh, come on! I I'm not saying I blame you. I just say I want some fair warning. I told you, Remy and I are not hooking up. Right. Why would you want to, you know? I mean, God, he's hot. He's nice. He's totally crazy about you. You're right. That's disgusting. Stop. Zip it. I'm going back to my place, picking up more stuff. I'll meet you at the apartment. But the food's gonna get cold. Well, plug in the microwave and I'll nuke it while I'm unpacking. You scared the hell out of me. Yeah, well, you turned off your phone, and I don't know your address anymore, so how else am I going to... I can't do this. Tammy! Stop following me! I'm not leaving! Get out! Get out of here! Get no. away from me! Just I can't, and you Jonathan. can stay away from me. You have a child on the way. You just let me live my life. You don't have a life without me. We tried to break up before. It doesn't work. Try harder. I'm not moving. I'll call security. No, you won't. Don't, don't do this. I cannot have these feelings right now. I can't let you hurt me anymore. I'll never hurt you. You are. Every time you put your arms around Lizzie, every time I hear her call you her husband, every time I think about you being tied to her forever through a child, that hurts. Don't you get it, Jonathan? I wanted that with you. Instead, I stood Don't by you think and I wanted that watched with you? you get married to another girl, to Lizzie. Tim. I smiled and I put on a good front, but I cannot do it anymore. Okay, you, you don't have to. I'm leaving Lizzie, I'm leaving her. What are, what are you saying? It's over. I'm filing for divorce. I, Okay, everybody, pretend it's time to push. Now, I want you to take a deep breath and put your chin to your chest, hold the breath, and then go. I'm not going to push just in case. That's a <laughs> smart girl. Now, where did Jonathan go? He needed some fresh air. Is he coming back? He didn't say exactly. I just, I think he's a little overwhelmed. Oh, new dad's get. <laughs> yeah, but look at the other new dads. They're all here. Well... Jonathan's Jonathan, and you saw how hard he was trying. He was trying hard, honey, and you've been trying really hard, too, haven't you? Do you think he's fallen in love with you? We're closer. Closer than he and Tammy? <laughs> They've had more time together. Lizzie, it isn't about time. You can't force things. Oh, um, I won't have to because... When the baby gets here, that is going to change everything. No, look, the baby's a wonderful gift, but it doesn't make someone fall in love with you. Jonathan loves me. He just, um, he hasn't figured it out yet. You know, you could go home and live with your mom because she does love you, and I really love you. I know. I love you too, Nana. I'm where I want to be. I just want you to be happy. Jonathan makes me happy. Does he? You could start over. You could change course. I'm not giving up on him. We are married. He is my husband. It's over. Marriage 
ends now. You can't just... I did just do that. I, I mean, it was a bad idea. I mean, I thought we could make it work, but we can't. I cannot stop thinking about you all the time. What about the baby? The baby is always going to be mine. Always. You know, but I agreed to marry Lizzie as long as I was still seeing you. Alan screwed all that up. What if he goes after Lizzie again? I, I, I will fight him a different way. I, I don't know. Look, we only have so much time. You know, nobody gets that better than I do right now. All I know is lately I have been spending way too much time away from you. born teacher. Oh, I'm so glad I'm good at something. Oh, what are you talking about, miss? I'm the best at everything. Oh, if I were the best at everything, I would have raised you and your mom in a very different way. I would have made you think highly of yourself. I wouldn't have let you sell yourself short like I did. I would have had you wait for the right man. I don't want and... to talk about Jonathan anymore. Everything's going to be okay. Go to work. I'm going to go home and take a nap. Okay, honey. I'm going to ER. See ya. Okay. Hey. Hi. Is everything okay? Childbirth class. Oh, right, right. <laughs> yeah, I fainted the first time I saw that movie. All the bleeding and screaming. Oh, don't oh, tell me I was screaming. I almost didn't become a doctor. It was too much. Oh, okay. All right. Goodbye. Oh, <laughs> <Ellen. clears throat> Can I ask you a question? Sure. Do you think people are meant to be? Meant to be? I'm not sure I know what you're asking there, honey. Like, um, Jonathan and Tammy. Well, I don't know if Jonathan should be with anybody, but I think I know where you're going with this. Sweetheart, I think it's always tough to care about somebody that's already connected to somebody else. I know about that because I've been through it. You see, I always loved your mom. But I knew that she belonged to your father. So unrequited love is just a di I can't believe I'm talking to you about this. <laughs> it's okay. I am a big girl now. I miss him. Dad. I mean... I do too, honey. Do you? Oh, absolutely. I know that he wished he could be here with you. I mean, he, he loved the whole baby thing. It wouldn't have made him feel old. Oh, not your dad. Your dad was the one person that always loved the idea of being an old man. Do you think he would have liked Jonathan? You know something? If your father knew that Jonathan could take care of his little princess, Jonathan would be your dad's best friend. You know, Jonathan is a little scared, but in the long run, he is going to do right by me and our baby. I'm sure of it. I should be packing the rest of my things right now. I should be putting a diaper on a plastic doll. Mm -hmm. The birthing class? <laughs> kind of think I flunked it. I love you when you're like this. Like what? Soft. Not angry. How would I be angry if I'm here with you? Hmm? 
Did you mean what you said? Yeah. My marriage, well, if you could even call it that, is, is over. I'm where I belong. Where I've always belonged. I'm gonna have you, I'm gonna have my daughter, and I'm done pretending with Lizzie. And Alan? Are you afraid of Alan? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I know it sounds selfish, but I can't help it. The world just doesn't seem right if I'm not with you. You are selfish. But I'm selfish, too. Mm. So when are you going to do it? Do what? Tell Lizzie. Oh. <clears throat> oh, yeah. <clears throat> Jonathan. Are you here? He didn't come home, did he, girl? Guess I knew he wouldn't. Don't worry. He'll be back later. He loves his baby. He loves both of them. Oh, God. Ow! No, 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 no. No, just, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You hear that? What? I guess there's nothing. When we dozed off, you were probably dreaming. Yeah, I'm dreaming. So. <laughs> what are you gonna do about the place that you're renting with Marina and, uh, Officer, my pants are too tight? Hey. <laughs> I... Offer to pay my share of the rent till they find a new roommate. Because then me and you, we're going to move in together. And not a hotel either. We're going to get a real home. Like a house home? Like a house home. <laughs> <laughs> For you and my baby. Both my babies. And a dog. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't tell this to anybody, but Lizzie's little mutt is kind of kind of growing on me. A few hours ago, I was so focused on how to forget you. Now I'm touching you. Breathing you. You're back. I'm back for good. Now all we have to do is tell Lizzie. Okay, okay, break the news as gently as possible. And don't do it here. Invite her out to dinner first. Okay, okay. And we have to make sure that she knows that we're not abandoning her, that we're still going to be here for her, just like always. Okay, I got it. Can I, can I open the door now? Wait. For luck. Lizzie? Oh, God. Lizzie? Lizzie, hey, Lizzie, what happened? Lizzie? Hey. She's bleeding. Call 911. Hey. Yeah, I'm here. You're going to be fine, okay? The baby. The baby's going to be fine, too. You're going to be fine. Shh, okay? Lizzie. Hey, Lizzie. Is that ambulance on its way? an emergency. A friend of mine who's All right, forget it. Forget it. Forget it. Just hang up. We can't wait that long. Come here, honey. Okay. Come on. Come on. Okay. Come on. Come here. Come here. Okay. Come on. It's all right. Okay, come on. Leave her here. Save yourself a world of trouble. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Okay, come on. Lily, Lily, help us. All right, let's get around the corner right away. Oh, oh my God. God. How long has she been bleeding? I don't know. Oh, Lizzie, honey. Right, it's Nana. Lizzie. How long has she been out? I don't know. I don't know. She was talking when we got to her. It couldn't have been that long. You're going to get out of the room. You tell me she was fine a few hours ago. What happened? 
She was. I wasn't with her. I don't know what happened in your class. She said she had cramps. I thought she was being dramatic. What's the matter with I her? I don't know. You've got to stay outside. We've got to examine her. All okay? right. What about the baby, though? Is she, I'll, I don't know. Poor girl. Someone should have warned her to stay away from you. You ruin everything you touch. Everything. I was supposed to be there. I was supposed to be there. This is not your fault. You couldn't have known. No, Nobody I could didn't have known. know. I didn't know. She told me. She said she was hurting. She said she was dizzy. I just didn't believe her, so I walked out. I was, I was supposed to be there. Hey, I need to, I need to come in. No, come you in. don't. You I just need to say here. something. Wouldn't you no. go sit down over there? Come on, you're in the way. Get Alan Dean down here right away. Could live. She didn't choose me as her father. She's innocent. I screwed up. Don't take it out on her. Don't take it out on Lizzie. What is it? Lizzie and the baby. What about them? They're in the hospital. Why? I, uh, I wasn't there. I came home. Lizzie was on the floor. She was bleeding. She was losing blood. What did the doctor say? They haven't said anything yet. I mean, I just, I wasn't there. I could have done something, but I was too busy doing what I wanted to do. You can't spend every minute of the day with Lizzie. I was going to leave her. I was going to leave her. I was, I was, I was trying. I was trying to do the right thing. I was trying to make the sacrifice for my kid, but I couldn't take it anymore. So I went back with Tammy. We were together while my don't, daughter could. Don't do that to yourself. You don't know anything yet. Yeah, I know this is, this is payback. Payback? Yeah. They're going to take my kid away because I screwed up. No, Jonathan, that's not how it works. How do you know? Because God doesn't give us signs. He gives us choices. Choices? Choices? Like the choice he gave you? I don't pretend to understand why I have cancer or why Lizzie started bleeding or why little boys are abused by their fathers or why babies die. I'm not God even though I've tried to be on a few occasions. But I do know this. Lightning doesn't strike you because you swear. And that baby is not going to die because you were with Tammy. Now things happen. You have to search your heart and know what you need to do. Search what I need to do. I promised myself when I was a kid, I swore that I would not be like Alfred. And I promised myself I would take care of this kid. And I didn't. You and are I not. didn't. And I am just like him. No, you are not yes. like that man. You aren't, Jonathan. You're my son. My granddaughter is going to have the best daddy in the world. I have to believe that. I do. Lizzie knows it, too. Are we both wrong? Hey. Are we both wrong? What if I don't get a chance to be a dad? What if... Come on. Come on. Let's go check in on that little baby girl of yours. Let's go be there for her. Tammy. Reva, I'm glad you're here. Lizzie? Uh, no word yet. So, I mean, is Rick still in there with her? There's a whole team. So, Lizzie and the baby... They're hanging hey, I'm, I'm gonna sit down. Okay. I'll make you trade. His baby for me. I'll go. I will. I'll go right now, right this second. But give my son his daughter back, please.
Hey, how are they? Now you care? I do care. Is that why you deserted your wife tonight? Lillian, he feels bad enough as it is. It's not Jonathan's fault that Lizzie isn't... No, Lillian's right. I promised I'd help Lizzie with the pregnancy, and I failed. Look, I know sorry doesn't cut it, but I am. I gotta go to the lab. No, wait. No matter what you feel about Jonathan, it's not his fault that any of this happened. You haven't told us anything, and he's the father of that baby. He has a right to know something. Lillian, please. Rick's coming out to tell you. Lillian, check the blood count for me. Yeah. Rick, how's yes, Lizzie? She's stable for now. Wait, 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 what does it mean for now? Lizzie has high blood pressure, which we call preeclampsia, which could lead to complications like seizures. How serious? Seizures? It's a very serious condition for mother and the baby. Well, how serious? It could be fatal. It's what? very important. It's very important that we get Lizzie's blood pressure down, or we're going to have to induce labor. You can't induce labor. It's too early. Let's, the let's baby's hope too... Let's hope we don't get there, all right? All we can do right now is just wait and see. Okay, well, um, could we go in and see her? Yeah, just, just for a few minutes. That's it. Mm. You two. You, you two go. On Guiding Light. Olivia does not want to see you because you and your sons abandoned her when Ava came after her. You can't hide her here forever. Did you know that I was adopted before I did? Yes. I hate her. I have hated her since before she was born. I'm late. You're pregnant. I run Spalding now, Dad. I'm the family. I've got a job for you. This has been Guiding Light.